I would just start by saying it's a big week, an important day of practice, and uh, two tough games on the road. So uh, I thought we had a good win the other night, which was good. Our guys are excited, ready for this week, and we gave them yesterday off, so we haven't seen them for 24 hours. But uh, hopefully we'll have a great practice today and, and uh, get ready to play Washington State on Wednesday night, then obviously Washington on Saturday. But I thought we did a lot of good things in the Arizona game. In the Arizona State game, probably didn't play as consistently as we needed to for 40 minutes. But I thought against Arizona, our guys really played really well for most of that game and did some good things. So that was good to see. You've uh, used the bench as a motivator now a couple of times. How, how happy have you been with, with the results of that? Well, we're playing 10 guys now. Now that Alex is kind of back healthy and in the rotation, we've got 10 guys that will play a lot of minutes for us. And the guys that are playing the best will, I mean, it's not rocket science. The guys that are playing the best on that given night will play the most minutes. And the guys, for whatever reason, that aren't playing as well, they'll probably sit a little bit more. But uh, I mean, I love all of them. We treat them all great and they're fun to coach. All 10 of them are fun to coach. And, and then Kenny's in that mix too, but just not getting as much time. But. Whoever's playing well, going to play a lot. The guys that aren't playing as well, probably on that one given night won't play as much. But then we'll start with a, like Chris Smith the other night didn't play a lot of minutes. But starting today, it's a clean slate. And he's right back very much in the mix. We really like him as a player. But the other night, um, he just wasn't playing as well as the other guys. So we went with the other guys. How, how have you seen players respond to that? Have you liked the way that they've come back after those situations? Well, we'll see, Ben. I mean, we'll see. Nobody likes to sit. You know, players like to play. Nobody likes to sit. We don't make a big deal about it. But if a guy's not playing well, then it's it's not so much demoting them. It's just playing the other guys. I mean, we've got, like I said, 10, 11 guys that we feel good about going into the game. So it's not like getting mad at a certain guy and saying, OK, just sit there. But We've got other guys who can come in and play. And if, assuming they're playing well, then that one player may not get back into the game much on that one given night. Alex Olszewski uh, showed some things the other night that don't really show up in the box score as far as ball movements, effort, sure. hustle. Does, does his value kind of transcend uh, you know, how many points he scores? I think it's a great question and a great observation. He's a guy that. Um, You've got to look well beyond the stat sheet to see his value. If you look at the stat sheet and you see what he does, but then when you watch the tape, it's tenfold because he's smart, he's experienced, he sets screens that maybe you don't see during the game. Defensively, he does subtle things, and he just knows how to play. And uh, it's good that he's back healthy and good that we were able to get him in the mix. And I just think he's, a, he's an important guy for us as we move forward. Have you been told that he's kind of close to 100 percent now? Or? Yeah, he's good. No, he's good. And, um, he just really wasn't in the rotation. And I decided before the Arizona game, I just said, this is a guy that we need to get in there 10 to 15 minutes because, again, he's got experience, very smart at both ends, knows how to play, will screen, will rebound. He just does a little bit of everything. So uh, as we move forward, hopefully he'll just continue to get more comfortable and confident and keep getting better. Oh, been? I'm bad at those, man. <laughs> slow. Give it to me slow. All right. In, in the months since you, you've been in charge of this team, what's been your approach to maximizing the talent on this team? Because I think everybody realizes there's considerable talent on this team. What, what's been your approach to getting the best out of it? Just day to day. Just trying to do with Tyus and Dwayne and I, trying to do the best we can every single day just to, to, to bring it out of them as best we can. I think our practices have been really good have been very upbeat, very encouraging, very intense, pretty demanding. Um, and there's some talent there, but we're just trying to bring out the best in them and get better every day. And we've talked a lot about playing with speed and pace. And so we're pressing more and running more. And I think that's a style that's pretty conducive to the talent on this team. When, when you look at this season overall, where do you think the team has, has not risen maybe to its left? I mean, another. No, that's fine. I, 
I'm just taking it today, Ben. Yeah. I'm just going right where we're at today, and we beat Arizona by 21 in our last game, and we've got a, a Washington State team that's not easy to beat in Pullman coming up, and so we really just, not to avoid the question, but we just really take it day to day, and I, I like where we're at today as we move forward. We've got a lot of guys that I think are ready to contribute and play and play well. Defensively, we've been tweaking things and we're slowly getting a little bit better there. We've become a pretty good rebounding team. Offensively, we're still kind of tweaking and playing with some things. But I think right now, where we're at right now, we, we, we're, we're a pretty decent team when we play consistently for 40 minutes. And we, we think there's a lot of upside as we move forward. Is it easier to coach players up after a tape like the Arizona game or a Loss. Either way, either 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 way, I think it's 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 a, it's a much prettier, nicer film session after a win. Um, but but I thought we did a lot of as a staff, Tyus and Dwayne and myself. I thought we did a lot of good teaching after the Arizona State game, and we didn't then pound them into the ground physically on Friday. It was a very mental day after that game, and then I think it helped us get ready for the Arizona game, but. Uh, whether it's a loss or a win, I think you can get some good teaching out of them. And we've certainly been doing that today and talking about the things we're doing well and then talking about the areas that we need to fix a little bit. Coach, you mentioned screen setting a little bit earlier with Olashinsky. Um, this is sort of a long question, but when the shot clock's winding down, the default that many teams go to is a pick uh, beyond the three-point line. Mm -hmm. And you know, just watching some of the games, it seems like your screeners haven't been getting good contact on the man ah, on the screen. You is that tell Mo that. <laughs> is that something you've noticed in film, or is that something you've been addressing uh, with well, the big men? We, we have. I mean, it's something we talk, and I'm kidding about Moses, but a lot of times he does screen air, and we're on him to screen at body, screen a defender. and uh, but, but I'm like a lot of guys. I do late in the clock like maybe a high ball screen. We set that high ball screen a lot for a guy like Jalen Hands. And You've got to be careful. You want a solid screen, but you certainly don't want an illegal screen and a moving screen. So there's kind of a fine line there between the two. But we certainly do want a solid legal screen set in that situation. Given the youth of this team, has the approach to player development been maybe a little different than it would be if you had a lot of three and four year guys and that maybe you're having to spend more time on fundamentals than, than, than otherwise? I think that would be true. I think that would be true. If, if you saw our practice today, we're going to go maybe for 90, 95 minutes, and I'd say 30, 30 of that 30 minutes of the 90s on very fundamental. If it was, it would be like if maybe you're at a middle school practice or a high school practice in terms of the fundamentals of passing, catching, dribbling it better, taking good shots. So we are doing a lot of fundamental work on all those things, but. Our, again, our guys have been phenomenal in practice, but we are trying to, just as we did months ago, nothing different there, but we are spending a lot of time on individual development with each individual guy, and then obviously trying to develop the team as well. But there is a lot of time spent on kind of those fundamental aspects of the game. Is there Last one, one coach who specializes in free throws? <laughs> is that a trick question? Yeah, so slightly, maybe. That's a slightly trick question. <laughs> you know, Tyus and Dwayne and myself, we all work with our guys. And right now, we're just trying to rep it a lot. We're just trying to get a lot of reps in. And I don't like to, when a guy's a bad free throw shooter, I don't like to just beat him into the ground about it because I think it becomes mental. So, number one, if assuming he's got the right technique and routine now if he does if he's got a bad routine and a bad technique that's bad but assuming he's got the right routine and assuming he's got pretty good technique then i don't think you can just beat him into the ground mentally with it but we've been repping it a lot a lot a lot making sure we're getting a lot of reps up in practice obviously the biggest concern would be moses and um i think cody is is becoming better chris wilkes was five for five last game but it's going to be a little bit of a struggle all year with Moses.